guys welcome back to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today we're testing out something that scares me a lot um it's something i haven't ever done before and yeah i i really want to do this because i'm fed up of being so pale <laughs> we're talking about self tanner now i have a couple of self tanners that i've got from beauty boxes and various places um and I just thought, you know what? I'm scared of self-tanning at home. And I think quite a lot of people are as well. I'm very, very pale. I do tan. I do tan, like you can see. I'm even paler than my arms are. Like, this is a bit of sunburn. I do pan, tan up here. Like, my face has got tanned. I've got, like, compared to my hairline, I am, for me, this is, like, a little bit of a tan. But my legs do not tan, ever. Not in this country. When I'm on holiday, I'll get a nice tan. This country, no matter what I do, my feet go brown, my legs stay pasty, pasty white. So, I thought I would start a little series on my channel of testing out different fake tans. So the one I'm testing today is the Sandra Pay Self Tan Purity, and this is the Bronzing Water Mousse. This is what it looks like. Um, this is just like a 50 mil sample. It's on offer in Boots at the moment for a full size for 20 pounds instead of 31, I think. I think that's what it said, let me just double check. Yeah, 20 pounds instead of 31 in Boots at the moment. So I'll link that down below. Um, yeah, I'm a bit scared. And I just kind of decided to do this at the spur of the moment. I don't have a tanning mitt, so I've been watching YouTube videos and found a lovely girl on YouTube who said, she uses a fluffy sock. So I've got a clean fluffy sock here. And I'm going to try and fake tan. I think what I'm going to do to start with is just do one leg. Just one leg. Just to kind of see how it goes. And then I just want to kind of get an idea of the colour, how it's going to be. Because I've never done it before. I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, don't get me wrong. I have used like, you know what you get when like, um, like moisturizers that have got fake tan in I've used those when I was like 15 so like 20 years ago I used those and I always had like orange fingers and it just looked horrible so I've always just been a bit scared I used to go on a sunbed which is very naughty and I won't do it anymore um I haven't been on a sunbed for a roundabout I don't know since I was 20 a long time so I want to do fake tan so if you've got one that you use or you want me to test comment down below what it is doesn't matter whether it's super super cheap a little bit expensive if i can afford it i'll try it but i'm going to do this one first because this kind of seems to be like a mid-range and i've heard of sandra pay um it seems to have been around forever online it just basically says you put it on and it'll develop over four to eight hours and you don't need to shower it off so that's what we're doing today so I'm going to sort the camera out. I'm going to show you how pasty pale my legs are. And then we're going to tan me. And hope that I do not end up looking like David Dickinson. Because that's not what I want to do. This is my serious finger. <laughs> no, I don't want to look like David Dickinson. Let's get on it. These are my pale legs. That is the dog. Um... So yeah, I am super, super pale. I've got like a little bit of a tan on my feet where I've been wearing flip-flops. But I have been wearing flip-flops with shorts and the tan literally just stops here. It's just these bits of my legs do not get tanned. Um, and I've got some serious mozzie bite scars here that I kind of want to hide with tan. So this is how pasty I am to start with. Super, super pasty and chubby. My legs were shaved yesterday, I exfoliated this morning, my knees and my ankles are moisturised. I think that's all I need to do. So, we're going to start. I don't know how I'm going to film this, but we're going to start. I think this is how I'm going to film it. I've got a tan, you can see my boobs are, my boobs are tanned. Right, so, this is how I'm going to do it, I think, because then I can kind of, we can get involved like this. I have fashioned... A tanning mitt out of a sock these are clean but they have been worn before this one has even been eaten by the dog um i am going to get a proper tanning mitt but i haven't got one right now and i want to do this today so 
I've fashioned it. I've just folded it over and put some pins in it. This is going to be my tanning mitt. The girl who I watched online, who I will link, was saying it's really good because you can like get in everywhere. Um, but I am only going to be doing one leg to start with. So, don't know if you're supposed to shake this. It doesn't say anything. Let's just... I don't know how much you need. How much you need? I'm scared. I'm scared. We're, we're going in. <gasps> we're going in. Oh, it smells good. I've got no idea. How are you supposed to know where you've been? How are you supposed to know where you've been? I'm scared and I don't know how much to put on. This is already going wrong. Oh shit. Why does this leg look more tanned than that leg? I don't understand. Right. I don't know. It's now quarter past two. I feel like I'm done. I don't know. I've used like a quarter of what was in there. So there'll be enough to do my other leg. But then I don't think I'd have enough to do my whole body. We'll see. Um... But I've literally got no idea. I've just been watching people do it and they just seem to know where to put it and how to do it. But this is my first one. So keep your fingers crossed. And I will come and see you in a few hours as it develops. I'll take a picture now side by side and we'll see how it is. And we'll see how it goes. So, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, it's the next morning from using the Sandra Pay tan. Um, it's not... It's not a dramatic change. Um, like, I did try and show you last night. I've got two brown spots on my knee, which is a bit weird. Um, and then I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna turn you around this way so you can see. So, this is the leg I tanned. And I really don't see a difference other than the two brown spots here. Like, let me just stand you there. I can't see a difference other than here. Like, I don't feel any more tanned. Um, I don't know if maybe I didn't put enough on, but I don't really know. I'm, if I've done something that is like, people that are tanning are just like, you've done it wrong, you're an idiot. Let me know. Um, but like, a full size bottle is 200 mil, and this is 50 mil, um, and I've used like, down to here, just on one leg. So, how long is a bottle supposed to last? I just don't, I just don't know, like, I just don't know if they look, if it looks any more tanned, it's this leg. Does it look more tanned? Oh, don't look at that big white thigh there. I can't tell a difference to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if I have done something really, really wrong. I exfoliated, I shaved the day before, I moisturised the my knees and my ankles. I did it in long sweepy motions and I don't know. It did smell really nice when I put it on, but last night I smelled like biscuits. And I don't mind it, I quite like the smell of fake tan. And my friend was laughing at me because I think quite a lot of people don't like the smell of fake tan but i do enjoy it it smells fruity when you put it on but then it smells of biscuits later on so i don't know i'm gonna do i think i am gonna do my other leg today um and then i'll probably leave it until tomorrow and then maybe do another coat on both legs and see um but at the minute mm, i don't know it's called natural glowing skin i mean it's not it's not super tanned. I don't know if it's meant to be super tanned. But if you've tried it and you don't like it, let me know. A few people on Instagram have said they really don't like this stuff. Um, I will say a little bit went through my mitt. Um, and my hand is a little bit stained. And I did wash it straight away afterwards. It's got like a sort of a yellowy green tinge. That you can see compared to my other one. Um, or up here. I don't know. I don't know. I've probably done something wrong. And if you are a fake tanning 
connoisseur and you know what you're doing let me know what i did wrong or let me know if there's one that i should try because i think i'm going to enjoy doing this series because it's quite fun um and i think i'm going to get braver and maybe do other parts of me rather than just my legs that i can hide in leggings but for now we're just going to do the legs so yeah i'm not i don't think it's worth the money to be honest i think if that's a quarter of a bottle and that wouldn't do my whole body i don't think like that's a quarter of a full-size bottle which is normally 30 pounds so i probably need over a quarter of a bottle to do my whole body yeah i don't know i just don't think it's worth it so i'm calling this one as a bit of a bust but i am not qualified so if you like it amazing i wish it worked but you can see i don't i don't know if, it, if it's meant to be so subtle then it's worked but if it's meant to give you a proper tan it has not other than two tiny brown patches on my leg so yeah if you enjoy these kind of videos where i could potentially end up with oompa loompa legs or oompa loompa arms then give this one a thumbs up you should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys